This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Dragoony combo tutorial video, a Yu-Gi-Oh combo tutorial, because basically we have some things that have changed in terms of the first term boards that we're going to be trying to put out in the face of adversity, in the face of this format, in the face of the June 12th format, all that sort of nonsense. So these are combos with Norden Band, and these go hand in hand with the deck profile that I put up. It's either going to be up earlier today or it's going to be have been up a full day in advance. But there is a deck profile on my channel. If you're interested, go check that out if you are interested again. But anyway, this is a simple three card combo that just requires Dragon Ravine, Dragoony Phalanx, and you need either Mistleton, Instant Fusion, or Garuda. Uh, just one of the cards that allows you to get another level six dragon on the board, whether it be a Vajrayana that you synchroed into with the Mavilus off the Instant Fusion or the Garuda being summoned, or just having Mistleton itself. Now, for this combo, what this combo yields you is it yields you a quick and easy plus three, and it yields you an Ultimaya Zulkin, a Beals, a Darkness Metal at 2800, and any level eight Dragon uh, Synchro of your choice, usually Crystal Wing or Stardust, depending on what back row you have access to, and then you also draw a card in the process off making Ultimaya Zulkin with Coral Dragon. So this is the easiest and simplest combo that you're going to be trying to do in this format and going into this Masterpiece and Dryden Laden format. And it's only a three card combo and I'm only going to be showing you with these three cards. There are definitely other combos that exist and extensions of this combo that exist if you drew additional monsters alongside these. Not even specific monsters, just monsters in general or other combo pieces like Divine Lance and stuff like that. But for this combo, we're going to assume that you literally just have two blanks, nothing that's combo oriented at all, but one of them at least has to be a settable card, whether it's Divine Lance, Instant Fusion, stuff like that, and Extender, it just has to be settable at some point after you make the first, you know, after you make Zulkin, and then you can continue your combo string from there, which is easily possible. Uh, but basically, we're just going to be assuming these are blanks in terms of just their defensive cards. They don't contribute to your combo in any way, shape, or form. Stuff like that. But anyway, enough gassing. We're just going to go straight into this. But so, assuming that you have a settable card in your hand, you're going to commit to this combo string uh, with just these three cards. And it yields you a plus three, like I said. But anyway, so you activate Dragon Ravine, you discard uh, Phalanx to add Ducks, and you normal summon the Ducks. Like every other Dragoonie combo that's known to mankind has ever started. <laughs> uh, but anyway... You special the Phalanx off of your Ducks, and then you tribute the Phalanx to special your Mistleton from hand, or if you had Instant Fusion, you activate it getting Mavilus. If you had Garuda, you banish Ducks from Grave after synchroing with it to special Garuda. Regardless of whatever you're doing, at this point, you want to have two level 6 Dragons on the field, one of them being a Gaederg. So it's either going to be Mistleton Gaederg or Vajrayana Gaederg, depending on if you had Instant Fusion, uh, Garuda, or Mistleton. But so from here, you're going to use the Gatorx effect, you're going to add and discard Zephyrus. You're going to add Zephyrus from your deck to your hand, and then discard it to your graveyard to be used later. But then you're going to overlay your two dragons into Hieratic Dragon King of Atum, and you're going to detach the Gatorx from it to special summon your Red Eyes Darkness Metal from your deck. Now again, keep in mind that, like I said before, this com this combo sequence and this entire deck is incredibly fluid with how it can structure its plays. You want to definitely keep in mind all the different like calculated like things that you could be doing depending on if these other two cards were extendable combo pieces. You could definitely extend this combo much further if you had more than just these three cards, but this is just like the easiest and simplest thing for you to be opening, so it's what I'm trying to focus on for this video, but I just love how like fluid this deck is in terms of its combo sequencing that you can do. Um, everything is a variable that changes everything as far as an outcome. It's great. Uh, but anyway, Darkness Metal is going to use its effect to bring back your Gaederg, and from here your Gaederg is going to add Miss Valley Baby Rock from your deck to your hand, and then discard the Baby Rock. Uh, special summoning the Baby Rock from your graveyard. Now obviously if you drew Baby Rock, you could just add something like Garuda, discard Baby Rock, summon it, and then you have further combo extension. But that's not what we're focusing on here. I just can't help but not point it out whenever it comes up in my discussions or combo tutorials and shit like that because I love this deck because of the fact that it, it's so fluid like that. But anyway, you're going to use the Darkness Metal as your cost to bounce to hand to summon Zephyrus from your grave because you've already used its field effect once. And you're going to take your 400 damage and then you're going to synchro with the Zephyros and the Baby Rock into Coral Dragon. And now you've used Gatorg's effect 
Um, you've bounced the Darkness Metal to your hand. You're at your prime point here to summon your Ultimaya Zulkin. So you're going to send the Coral Dragon and the Gator to Grave, and you're going to summon your Ultimaya Zulkin from the extra deck. Coral Dragon is going to trigger drawing you a card. So you're going to go up to three cards in hand. Now again, uh, the card you drew could be a combo piece. Uh, it could be something like a monster or a, like Divine Lance or anything like that. Um, it could be literally anything, and that also just fluctuates what your ending combo can be depending on how in-depth you want to go. But again, for this instance, we're just going to assume that it's another defensive card that does not implement any extra reach into the combo. And we're just going to go with the combo straight as it was intended to be when we started. But so from here, you're going to banish your Atum, and you're going to summon your Darkness Metal from your hand, and you're going to use Darkness Metal to bring back your Gaederg, and then Gaederg is going to add and discard a second copy of Miss Valley Baby Rock. This is why there's two in the previous deck list that I posted, is because you need two for this combo to happen, and this is the bare minimum of what you're going to be trying to do every single game. You want these three card combos to stick, or else you're not going to have a very fun time. But anyway, depending on what your cards are, that the other three cards in your hand are at this point, the choices you have for the level 8 you can make here are either Stardust Dragon or Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Um, you can make either or, depending on what you think is going to happen here as far as a, as like a play sequence. Um, most of the time, you probably just want to end up going for like Stardust if you had defensive lines like Warning or Strike or whatever. Uh, or like Floodgate things like Imperial Order, shit like that. Uh, but if you don't have any of these types of cards, um, you have combo pieces that you can mold into your board anyway. But otherwise, you're going to be wanting to put, go like Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Because if you're putting out Beals plus Crystal Wing, it gives you a huge amount of blanket protection from everything except board wipes and that's where stardust comes into play like stardust is amazing against board wipes uh, but beals is already naturally protected from board wipes uh, by itself but you would be protecting like these cards like your other extenders and shit like that uh, so it's, just, it's up to you but for this example we're just going to say that we went for stardust we're not going to do this crystal wing uh, because we've got good defensive line cards here in the form of warning maxi and imperial order uh, but now from here one of these cards is a set is a settable so we will set the card and the ultimate zulkin will trigger summoning the beals from our extra deck now beals is incredibly good against masterpiece and against dryden's the only card it's weak to is whiptail against zoo uh so like there's just that um but like this card is incredibly strong against true draco variants um because of the fact that like it can't be killed by battle or by card effect um so like they can't masterpiece this and it keeps getting bigger so even if they use the apocalypse trap to like make it go smaller you could crash smaller things into their masterpiece to pump him up to attack over the masterpiece um so like there's things like that uh but like this card is amazing against masterpiece deck because it's so hard for them to out it and so it just it becomes incredibly just valuable to you as a card but anyway so this is the basic combo that you're going to be wanting to try to do literally every game that you're playing dragoonies you want to put a level 8 synchro out you want to end up with a, a pair of extenders that could survive at least one of them can survive to your next turn and then you want to have something like this out, uh, like Beals, because they can't Dryden Pop this, they can't Board Wipe this, they can't Masterpiece this. The only card really in the metagame right now, um, as far as like in the best decks of the metagame, uh, which we're not including True King Dinosaurs because that deck's not really doing that well um, on the like major circuit, like the YCS circuit and the uh, and like the ARG circuits and shit like that. Um, but like the main card in the format that outs this card is Whiptail. And so if you have anything in your hand that's capable of outing the Whiptail, or if you make Crystal Wing to out the Whiptail, um, then you like just have a, you have a very strong like board presence in terms of going into your following turns and all that sort of stuff. And again, like I said, literally everything causes things to shift. If these cards were combo pieces that needed you to make the Crystal Wing for added protection, you're typically able to vomit out Stardust alongside it anyway, and then just end your turn sequence with doing something like Ultimize Zulkin into, into Beals, because you had other combo cards. You had other combo cards that could do things like add Garuda to hand, do shit like that. You could make Dweller. You could do a lot of different stuff. Everything changes once you start changing these three cards. Infusion, Divine Lance, uh, Baby Rocks that you drew, uh, Baby Rocks that you drew, Garudas, Extra Mistletons. Uh, there's all these different things that change. Which is a fantastic thing about this deck, uh, is the fact that it just constantly changes. Every single step of your combo sequence changes based off what additional cards you had in hand alongside your starting combo sequence uh, combo starters. But anyway, that has been this video, that has been this little quick combo. 
um, of just like this is legitimately like I said like I said this is what you are going to be trying to do every single game that you play Dragoonies you the little like the cutesy little ravine flanks into Stardust shit uh, that's not going to be good enough again until we get into Link format, and even then, it's not really going to be that great of like a starting play because of the fact that you need to open like Ravine Phalanx plus like two to three settables every single game. Uh, but that'll start becoming a thing that we can worry about when Link format comes around. But for this format right here, these are the kind of things that you want to be trying to do every single game, or else you're not going to be doing that much as far as playing the game on an effective basis because you need to get a good plus in because you went from five to uh to eight cards here uh so like you got a plus three out of that in terms of card economy so you got good card economy this is a plus one next turn if it survives uh this is a good card uh this is a good card this is a good card whatever defensive cards you have back ended up just make your board stronger because these are big threats and not tiny threats like zoo threats the thing with zoo is that if, the, if they're not protecting their zoo cards with like stuff like that with uh with defensive cards um their stuff is really small your stuff is very big um so like that's the thing uh but there's all there's all these little things that go into play uh for what you need to be doing but like i said the three card combos are at bare minimum what you need to be performing every single game with your unities if you're trying to play the game in an effective manner um like the only other time that could come up is like if you go start a set like three and they have to be like strike warning D barrier, like shit like that. You could still lose those games. Like that's that's how ridiculous the game has gotten. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on this combo in the comments down below and all sort of nonsense. Again, if you missed the deck list for this deck where I'm showing you these combos from, check my channel. It'll have been up either today or the day before this video. I'm not sure yet when I'm gonna upload this, all that sort of stuff. But other than that, links are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly, support something you like, then Patreon is the best way to do so, as well as it gets you certain perks like getting access into my private Discord server, where you can chat with me and many others on a 24-hour, seven, uh, seven days a week basis, whenever I'm at a phone or computer. So there's things like that that you can have access to if that's what you want. But if you just want to support the channel, just even something as small as a dollar a day really helps future projects I've got for the channel just come into fruition a lot faster and help show your support in a great way to just show that you like what I'm doing and stuff like that. But other than that, if you are not subscribed and you're new here, then definitely consider it. Would love to welcome you to the uh, to the subscriber community and all that sort of stuff. Give the video a like if you liked what you saw, all that sort of stuff. And basically, that is it for this video. As again, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. Again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And take care. I will see you in the next video.